to give Tarleton a one point lead. Kick is up and it's perfect. So that was the scene 12 months ago at Shotwell. ACU able to rally from a 20 point deficit only to lose to Tarleton State on a last second field goal. The 37-36 defeat knocking the Wildcats from the ranks of the unbeaten. One year later the roles are reversed as number 21 ACU in Stephenville and looking to keep postseason hope alive against the 8th ranked and unbeaten Texas. An offensive shootout from the very start. The two teams trading long scores. Bernard Scott's 31-yard house call ties the game at 14 and provides a glimpse of things to come. Later in the first, the diving interception by Josh Wise would lead to a 73-yard Edmund Gates touchdown. Second quarter now, Johnny Knox scoring on back-to-back -back Wildcats possessions. He's going to find Knox at the goal line. Knox catches it. He's into the end zone. Side, they've got the line stacked here. They're going to hand it off to Johnny Knox. Knox on a reverse right side. He's at the two. He's into the end zone. On the day, Knox with 102 total yards and three touchdowns on just four touches. The Wildcats take a 35-21 lead to the break, but as crazy as the first 30 minutes were, it would pale in comparison to the offensive shootout that was the second half. Tarleton would score four third-quarter touchdowns, taking a 49-41 lead to the fourth. Fourth down and three for the Cats. Billy Malone finds Jarrell Badon. He's caught at the 14-yard line. Bernard Scott would cap the drive with a two-yard score, and an Edmund Gates reverse on the two-point conversion ties the game at 49. A long Tarleton touchdown gives the Texans a 56-49 lead, but the Cats answer with an eight-play, 70-yard march. Two more fourth-quarter receptions for Badon and another two-yard touchdown for Bernard Scott. Handed off to Bernard Scott. Scott's going to walk casually into the end zone for another Abilene Christian touchdown. We are tied at 56. The Wildcats defense now forcing a Tarleton punt for the first time all day, and it takes just one play for number three to cash it in. Scott, Scott's got a hole up the middle of the field. He's at the 40, he's at the 50. Bernard Scott breaking this one loose at the 30, the 20, the 10, and Bernard Scott is taking this one all the way to the house for a Wildcat touchdown. A Scott Grantham for Devin Gwynn touchdown ties the game at 63, but the Cats would ride their star tailback to victory. The final drive for Scott, seven carries, 52 yards, and the game-winning score. On third down and eight, they're going to hand it off to Bernard Scott. Around the right end of the line, he's at the five. Bernard Scott is walking into the end zone. It's a touchdown for Abilene Christian. Our Wildcats defense able to hold on in the final minute as the Cats, the last team standing in an offensive shootout for the ages, 70 to 63 the final. But I don't know that I've been in a game like that. That was a... Great, uh, great job by both teams, really. Excellent job just fighting all day and just coming back. Our guys finally made a play late, and it was, uh, it was a great game. I ain't never been in a uh, shootout like this. It was, it was fun, though. We had a lot of fun out there, and, and, and Coach talked about it. We knew it was going to be a, a battle, and we knew whoever had the most hope was going to uh, put the game out. Yeah, I'm very proud of our guys. They uh, kept coming back. They've done that all year. They've got a lot of heart and a lot of courage, and uh, credit our guys. They kept coming. I'm so proud of every man in here. Only because, only because you just kept falling. Remember, this, remember what we talked about last night? That's what life is. Yes, sir. It's just like that in life. You just keep falling and keep believing and keep trying and sooner or later it works out. I'm so proud of you. What you do? Three, one, yes.